The Adventures of Robin Hood, 1938, movie review. When the King, King Richard the Lionheart, is captured on his return from the Crusades in the in, in 1191 in England, his traitorous brother, Prince John, takes over and starts taxing and oppressing the powerless. Robin Hood fights back, relinquishing his noble title and charming the beautiful young Maid Marian. And forms a band of merry men and yeah fight to end the oppression and tax excessive taxation this is easily my favorite of all the versions of robin hood that i've watched which include the disney one the 91 version the russell crowe one of course the mel brooks one the real-time strategy game and the various books that I don't remember the titles of, that I read as a child, of the legend. You can genuinely see yourself joining and fighting alongside Flynn's Robin Hood. He's such a winning personality, such a compelling speaker, such a remarkable fighter for justice that, yeah, you you cheer when the, when the Merry Men cheer his name, you practically cheer alongside them and those so inclined fall in love with his romantic and handsome type and some of those of us who are so inclined fall in love with the Haviland's Maid Marian her innocence her devotion and her passion she's distinctly moral person and she's actually part of the plot so showing women and girls that they don't have to just wait around to be rescued they can take action themselves and this promotes a number of really good values and is you know is something you can watch with the whole family although do note that back when this was made it was perfectly okay to show and speak of things that are pretty brutal you know the medieval times were a brutal time but yeah values such as protecting the defenseless you know that authority should be just that everyone should be able to get by on the money they make and that a leader should prove himself worthy of his authority and serve the people earn the respect of the people and the sheer exu exuberance, it's, it's hard not to get swept up in the exuberance, color, fun that this whole film is utterly soaked in. The, the costumes, the sets, the extras, this is a huge film. And a lot happens in just 98 minutes. At the start of the film, Robin is still noble and has not yet gathered a band of merry men. And this includes a number of the beloved scenes from the legends. The trick arrow splitting the other arrow into it and the, the various other shots with arrows, including you literally in this see people get shot in the chest with arrows. And this was done by like having some wood under the costume. It wouldn't fly today, but it was accomplished by the world-renowned Howard Hill, called the world's greatest archer at the time. And, yeah, other memorable scenes include, of course, the staff fight between Robin Hood and Little John. And this Little John played Little John for 28 years. Three films that are not in the same continuity. So, And you can see why. He does a fantastic job. But yeah, fighting over passage over the river, Robin Hood provoking the feisty but moral Friar Tuck into a sword fight, Robin Hood crashing a party in one of the castles and presenting a poached deer, you know, just slamming it down on the table and very directly insulting these people that he had already been 
provoking with his actions. We see him take down a number of nobles who are clearly betraying King Richard and who are mistreating the powerless in the land. And the, the action is plentiful and exciting, big and fun, choreographed but feeling organic. And yeah, it's just, it's an incredibly enjoyable film that really does justice to the folk tales and the legend. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more content.